Our folks on the station. That's where we're eating tonight. And we're on Madame Najam Tien, Soy 6, just uh, south of the end of John Tien Beach here. John Tien Beach, Patty, Thailand. And look at that. That's where we're going to be dining. There's my iron horse right there. Got some friends hanging out right here to the right. And basically we're at the end of Najam Tien Soy 6. There you go, right on the water, right on the channel. On the other side of that peninsula over there is the, the beach, is the ocean. Isn't this too cool, folks? Already got me a cold beer scene coming in here. Down here in Southeast Asia, Thailand, a lot of times they'll bring, uh, you know, people drink beer of rice. Same way in the PI. Not the way we do it uh, in the West, but if your beer gets warm, you got ice and some glasses right there. This is just the, uh, the waterside eating area, but if you're not into that, here's the main restaurant right here. Sort of open, open air, you know, Thai style. And this is just a beautiful little hideaway down here. So you got these fishing boats here, bring in their catch, tend to the nets. But just a beautiful little dining area right on this canal. Here at the end of the peninsula is a good place. A lot of folks go fishing over there. And that's just a dead end peninsula. And if you're on that peninsula, heading in this direction, there's more restaurants and down that little soy on this peninsula is where Drifter's Beach Cafe is, one of my favorite spots. And there's some more little cool restaurants down there. All right, let's kind of take a walk over here, show you around. <laughs> Sweaty crap. You want to sit at a little bar. And what do we got on the menu here? Looks like we got live crabs. Yeah, what they got in these tanks? Probably shrimp. I'll have to ask. You got some shells over there. And you got some more tanks over here. And I think this place down there may be a different restaurant. Like right there. I'm not sure if that's affiliated with this spot or no. Because there's a restaurant right there. There's another little restaurant right there. Folks, you know, if you find out where these boats come in, obviously if you get here when they come in, you can buy stuff fresh off the boat, negotiate the, uh, the best price before it uh, heads over to the market. But there you go. Here's our little eating spot on a Monday night. And you got old Popeye the Sailor Man right there, holding up a bottle of rum. And if you kind of pan over this way, this old boat right here, it's seen its better days. It just makes a perfect backdrop for tonight's dining experience. Look at these lights, it's just so quaint. Let's get down to business here. One of the first things, look at her, she's already popped the top for me. Go ahead and pour me a beer. And folks, I'm waiting on a couple ladies to get here. I don't know what I just realized because I'm not exactly Steven Spielberg. I had the shutter speed set where the lights were flickering. So now I've got adjusted, uh, I'm shooting 60 frames, 4K 60. But now I adjusted it to uh, 100 on the shutter speed and it should take out all that flickering. Learn something new every day. But it's not that I don't know all these things. Well, a lot, some things I don't, but. There's so many things to get right when it comes to putting together top quality entertainment for y'all. Beautiful lady bringing out some food to this gentleman. The old dog was riding with him and he jumped out when he took off. All right, I think that's focused on me. At least I hope it is. Folks, welcome. 
And you know, I don't even know the name of this restaurant. And it's written in Thai. Believe it or not, I can read Thai. But I'm just making sure this car ain't gonna hit my tripod. The dog's not gonna piss on it. He's trying to hike his leg on my carbon fiber tripod. Um, so, uh, anyhow, what was I talking about? Oh, I can read Thai, believe it or not. But not when they put it in like a, like a cursive, you know, creative type font. And that's why I tell people, hey, if you're designing a logo of any sort, whether it's print, digital, don't get cute, don't get cute with your font. Because if you get cute with the font, put it in some type of cursive or something like that, people whose, whose language, their native language is not English, they're not gonna be able to read it. Uh, and the, unless they're very fluent in the language. And I, and I learned that the hard way, something I never thought about. But when, when I'm in, when I was in Thai language school, whoa, when I was in Thai language school, you know, everything's in a certain font, simple font, right? Like in a textbook. And you're not looking at cursive and, and again, all these creative fonts that you can, you know, pick one of a million fonts and go with it. I can't read it. It's too, it's too rounded, it's too fat, it's too pushed together. It looks nothing like the characters in my textbook that are, you know, uh, something more normal on the font. Anyhow, that's a long ass story to tell you. I'm not sure the name of the place. But once my ladies get here, they'll be able to uh, enlighten us on that. So, one of the reasons when I saw this place, it was so perfect, is because I, when I saw this table, I said, that's the table I want. That is the backdrop I want. And I got plenty of room to put my tripod. And what y'all don't think about is, is what goes behind the scenes of trying to get the shots and like trying to film in those busy uh, barbecue buffets with people walking around with shrimp jumping off their plate. You can't put a $7,000 rig uh, far enough away from your table. Somebody's gonna knock it over or drop shrimp juice on it or something. So it's challenging. But here, I got plenty of room right there and plenty of different angles to set this tripod. I'm basically at a dead end, so nobody's gonna drive by on a motorbike and try to snatch it, which I don't worry about that here in Thailand. In the PI, there's no way I would set it set this FX3 out on the sidewalk. No way. Ain't just like that. The wind blowing my tablecloth here. And just like that, Moved it over, got plenty of room between the other tables. And now you can see some of my neighbors back here, just chilling. I think there's a little sweet baby girl over there. And wow, beautiful waitresses here too. Now they just brought this gentleman in front of me, his food. It looks like he's enjoying a bottle of wine by himself. Rock on brother. But the food they brought to his plate looks, looks absolutely stunning. All right, my friend's going by selling uh, by the way, they got dry squid, little pork balls. And folks, if you saw my other video where me and a couple of young ladies, I don't know if that's blocking the view or not, went out to eat at this other little small fish place up in Naklua, the ladies were late. Women are always late. Well, you know what? Stay that. I might be early. I might be early. I am. I'm four minutes early. I'm four minutes early. Maybe they show up on time. Uh, when I first booked this date, I told, uh, told the old lady, wife number two of the PI, in uh, 
holding down combat outpost, Angeles. I said, hey, got a date tonight. You know, she's like, well, where are you going, this and that, yada, yada, yada. I said, you know, I'm going out with my friend. And she got a little jealous. I said, you know what, let me consider her feelings. So I called her back. I said, look, baby, I understand how you feel. Going out with one lady is a little bit too intimate. So now I'm going out with two. And she feels much better. She said, no, that's much better, yeah. I said, I'm going out with two ladies tonight. Y'all see the stress that I'm under here? I mean, the stress is just uncanny when a man can't go out on a romantic date with, with just one girlfriend. His wife insists that he take two. I didn't say it's a bad stress, but it's a lot of stress. Singha is absolutely delicious, but Sat here, let it get a little bit of warm. So you just come in here, a couple ice cubes, and that's the way things are done. The way things are done here in Southeast Asia. Put some ice, beer, on, beer instead of on ice, it's over ice. Now, let me say this, this beer was cold when she brought it out. Absolutely cold. Uh, but me being Steven Spielberg, it's time to add a little bit of ice. I want to thank everybody for joining me. Thanks uh, for being a loyal viewer here on my show. I certainly appreciate it. Thanks to y'all. I get to live this lifestyle. I get to take care of my kids. Get to travel. And everybody has a different perspective about how they look at themselves. And then, obviously, everybody who's looking at you has a different perspective of you. I'm not sure what perspective you guys have, but I'm, I'm going to share my perspective on my show. What I vision and I envision from the beginning, I'm basically like Anthony Bourdain, but better. Does that make sense? That's my vision. But Anthony Bourdain, the early years, when I say the early years, I'm talking about like a cook's tour. A cook's tour was before no, no reservations. Uh, for me, a cook's tour, when he first started out, he first took that trip to Japan, those were the best episodes of his entire career. No reservations stepped up the game, obviously, with production and uh you know, it polished everything off and made everything look professional. But my favorite episodes of Anthony Bourdain are the early years, a cook's tour. When it was new, he had no idea what he was doing. He was excited about going places and meeting people. He was like a kid in a candy store. And then no reservations, I think, is what turned it probably towards the end for the guy. It turned it into a job. He still liked his job, and then when it became parts unknown, it was like, it's time to make the donuts. Some of y'all don't know what I'm talking about. There was an old commercial back in the 80s, Dunkin' Donuts, you know, where the dude gets up every morning. It's time to make the donuts. Time to make the donuts. Don't be a chump. Get a decent night's sleep for once. But all the nice folks will want fresh Dunkin' Donuts. It takes a lot of willpower to make Dunkin' Donuts fresh day and night. Next day, it's time to make the donuts. My husband seems rather weary. He has a very taxing occupation. He's on call day and night. He hardly gets any sleep. Good gracious. And his work demands absolute consistency. What is he? What is he? A brain surgeon? <laughs> Not exactly. Time to make the donuts. Time to make the donuts. The donut. It isn't easy owning a Dunkin' Donut. Time to make the donuts. Because unlike most supermarkets, uh, we make our donuts fresh day and night. But the guys who make supermarket donuts are still in bed. And I guess the point was they always make the donuts fresh. But you also deduce that the dude was like, he, he wasn't in love with his job. And that's sort of the progression I see uh, with Anthony Bourdain. 
And so if you've never seen the early episodes, you know, of Cook's Tour, it's on YouTube, watch it for free. And you can see how he uh, has no, no clue what he's doing in the early days, but he's just giddy, happy. Uh, and then go to No Reservations, watch a couple, and then go to Parts Unknown. And you can, you can see the shift, at least I can. I met the guy in Memphis, Tennessee. What year was it? 20, 2011, 2012, maybe 2012. I met him in Memphis, Tennessee. I got a picture with him. I don't like showing that picture because I was so fat in that photo. I had a big pumpkin sitting on my shoulders. That's pretty sad. Take a picture with a famous person and you look so bad you don't want to show everybody. I ain't. I'm not scared to show up, but I'm just telling you. You know what I mean? Now these ladies are officially late. What should I do? A, would you order? Now some of you gangsters would. Some of you gangsters would go and go order and be eating, and by the time they get here, you'd be done. There's some selfish players out there that would do that, but I'm not. I'm from the old school. Uh, nobody eats until everybody's food gets here. You say the blessing. And that's just the way it is. Make sure everybody else got enough food before you eat. That's, uh, that's the school thought that I come from. Oh, you bastard, why don't you take Fatima out to eat at some nice restaurants? Folks, when I get back, okay, if I'm lying, I'm dying. I'm gonna take that woman to the nicest Carindaria on our street. I'm talking, I'm gonna let her do this. I'm gonna let her do that till she just gets totally full. She can eat all the rice she wants. Might even just bring our rice cooker, you know, so I don't gotta pay extra. I'll make some of y'all laugh, and some of y'all are so angry at the world. You could be sitting there listening to George Carlin or Richard Pryor or Red Fox, and you wouldn't laugh. Okay, so this gentleman over here is, uh, Working the nets, getting the nets ready. And folks, when you talk about the fishermen here, I don't want to say it, fishermen anywhere, they got a tough job. I mean, there's a lot of labor into fishing. My uh, much respect to these folks who go out fishing, bringing in the fresh catch of the day. But what you realize is that there is so much time dedicated to uh, mending these nets. You just can't appreciate it till you sit there and you, and you watch this. And folks, tonight I'm shooting on a Sony FX3, the 35mm 1.4G Master lens. This thing is absolutely awesome in low light. Right now I'm at a 1.4. The ISO is only at 4,000. But this thing, with this lens, it works better at night. I don't want to say better. It works, it's easier, it's easier to use at night than it is during the day. It's more temperamental during the day. Um, like I said, if you're an amateur, this 35 millimeter is not for you. You need to get the uh, 24 to 105 F4 and that'll do you better. I mean, this 35 millimeter is a uh, professional lens. But anyhow, it works so much easier at night in low light and it basically sees in the dark. Again, the ISO is only at 5,000. Look how light everything is. I know that's a lot of camera talk, folks, but I get these questions, and so I'll talk about it. Now, folks, this is a Monday night. It's a Monday night after Mother's Day and after elections, and I'm early. Uh, usually when I come down here at prime time, they got a good crowd here, but I'm early on an off day. And again, it's easier for me to film when I go at off times, and don't have to deal with the crowds. Uh, but normally, uh, they do a good business here, so I'm just here early.
<laughs> These soy dogs. These stray dogs that run around here in Thailand, we call them soy dogs. Now look, if you live in Thailand, I'm obviously stating the obvious, but a lot of people that watch this show have never been to Thailand. Here you call a street a soy, right? Like this is a soy that I just came down. Soy 6. Not Jom Tien Soy 6. Not Patty of Soy 6. That's all the, uh, that's all the bars and the scantily clad ladies. This is not Jom Tien Soy 6. And all these stray dogs around here, you call them soy dogs. But people feed these dogs very well. They're all over the place. Like the dude's just feeding this dog over here. Looks like you got a piece of crab. They eat very well here. Um, it's very, there, there's no soy dogs in this country that are hungry, like over in the PI. Dogs here are very well fed. And, you know, people take care of them. And occasionally when you're riding your motorbike, they'll run along, try to, try to bite your leg. For me, on this motorbike, they try to bite my lady's leg on the back. It's like, every time I've had a lady on the back, they always go for the chick. They go for the Filipina. Most of the time it's a Filipina. Uh, but they've done the same thing with Thai ladies too. They rarely go after me. I mean, if I'm alone, they go after me. But if I got a lady on the back, they're going after her calf. Yeah, it's soy dogs, something you live with. Most of the time they don't bother you, but if they bite you, you gotta go get the rabies shots. <laughs> see, I don't know if you can see over there. You can see their lights, right? Those motorbikes riding out to that point. A lot of people go out there and fish at night. I'm not sure if you'd have better luck here or off the pier in Nakua. But people go over there and fish, picnic, and watch the sunset. <laughs> but it's just... Uh, like right now, it got this breeze coming through. It's just like free air conditioning. It really is. And it is so hot here in the day. They say 95 degrees. I say between 95 and 100. When I've been out on that uh, bicycle, oh my goodness, in that hot sun. I mean, I just come back drenched with sweat. Like I said, only fat people sweat, and I'm fat right now. So I just come back drenched with sweat. It's so hot. You let that sun go down, folks, it's like free air conditioning coming off that water. There's a breeze, no bugs, mosquitoes, flies, nothing like that. You can just sit here and just enjoy yourself, enjoy the background music they got going on over there, enjoy the scenery. And that's why I'm not, here's the thing about time. Time outside the West is more of like a suggestion. In the West, we live and die by the time. If you're two minutes late to a meeting, I mean, oh my goodness. If, if, if you're not 15 minutes early to a meeting, you know, especially around the government or the military, my God, if you're not 15 minutes early, you're late, right? We live and die by that clock. You leave the West, I, I, anywhere, leave the West. Time is not as strictly adhered to as it is, especially in America. I always say it's more of a suggestion because it is. If somebody's late, they don't apologize for being late. They just, they're there. You know what I mean? Show up 30 minutes late. No need for apologies. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> in America, you'd be making up excuses, calling doing all kind of crazy stuff, right? Now this gentleman has got a bamboo pole with a red and a green blinking light. Let me show you. Now look, all boats have lights, but his is on a, uh, a bamboo pole and it's uh, rechargeable. So he's probably had them things charging all day and now he just put the pole in uh, for their lights. So obviously this crew is getting ready to roll out. This little girl is so cute in the blue short. She's over there dancing. She almost looks like that same little girl that was in the back of that truck the other day. But she's just dancing. Listen to that music. So cute. Let's see if she'll do some more dancing. 
There she goes. <laughs> Sweet babies. Makes me miss my babies. Look at this crew coming in here. That's a very interesting point of view. <laughs> Sort of cools the ankles, doesn't it? Well, what do you think would be fun to do now? I don't know. It's getting pretty late. Oh, do you feel the breeze from the subway? Isn't it delicious? Look at these beautiful ladies, folks. Being fashionably late. Like ladies are known to do. Try to get another microphone out here. Ladies. Look at these beauties. My goodness. What's up, beautiful ladies? Hi. You have a hard time finding the place? <laughs> Oh, well, did you? We go Mommy. the second one, we don't see again. Mommy. We turn back, see, see past one, and we come a little bit, we come to the long walls. Well, I just realized I, I, don't, I don't have, uh, yeah, it don't I connect for some no, reason. Yeah. I don't know. Okay, can you clip that? I have you no okay? Ban, eh? Yeah, I'm okay. How are you? Good. These ladies look beautiful. Folks, oh, look at these beautiful ladies. ladies. My dinner. Goodness. What's Hi. going on? What's up, people? What's up? <laughs> My goodness, it's so good to see you ladies. Oh, see if old Steven Spielberg can get this right angle. But I think if I put my camera out here, somebody's going to run it over. That probably wouldn't be good, right? But I think it's more important to look at the ladies instead of me. Ladies, I'm going to focus on you for a while, okay? Yes. Oh, my goodness. What's going on here? A little bit down on down. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Be a bow. There we go, folks. We'll lock that in right there. But this one doesn't have any wind. No, wind is a little bit. There we go, right there. So I'll let y'all look at them for a minute, then I'll change the angle on the dangle. How long you be here already? Ah, about 45 minutes, but oh, I got I got here. Long time. No, I got here early because I wanted to. To see all. Oh, yes, yeah, so okay. I've already filmed the boats and looked around. So okay. no, you're you're right on time, oh, ladies. Before it's get back. Actually, we have only one loss, right? We can have another loss to come. Yes, yeah, it's, it's like um, you left and right and yeah. left and right. This way. Yeah, you got yeah you got to know how to get in here because <laughs> of the. Like, like you see this over here. Uh, to get over here, you have to you have to go back out to mm -hmm. to oh. the main road. Okay. And then there's some restaurants up this road. People go fishing over here. Yeah, I guess we can decide. But that's good because all the tourists they can't find this place. I keep yeah. it a secret. To, yes, yeah. I, keep, a secret. I keep my spots over there secret too. <laughs> secret prayers. Well, you ladies, right. look, you ladies look beautiful tonight. Yeah, oh, because it's the so first half of us to dinner again. Riding motorbike, right? <laughs> <laughs> and and I just asked you, Amy, Amy, already how many minutes? Already what time? What time? <laughs> yeah, and I, because I, I know the foreigner not... is, they love to have the light time, you know, when they right. say like, seven is seven. You understand? That's why I said, <laughs> Amy, oh, how many minutes now? <laughs> That's all right. Ladies are always late for dates, yeah. so the men just have to wait. Because mm. ladies make up. <laughs> <laughs> Too much makeup. Too much makeup. What do you think? Do you want to drink? Do you want to drink? No. 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 Oh, is this a lot menu here? Ooh, thank you for the wind. Good. Yeah, it's like free yes. air conditioning, right? I just come back to my hometown for the war thing. You yeah, know? yeah, and just to go home come to back. Boat? Yeah. Awesome. But yeah. this this time a lot of people go. The traffic, wow, so bad. 
a lot of, a lot of traffic? Yes. Because many people had to go to the province to mm -hmm. vote, right? Yeah. You okay? Good. I'm good. Everything? Yeah, I'm wonderful. This place is lovely. Yeah. Yeah. Over there. So nice. Yeah, beautiful condos over there. To this one. I see food a lot here. Now, ladies, what's the name of this restaurant? Because I can't read that. that. Uh -huh. This one, Lung yeah. Sawai. Lung Sawai, right? Lung Sawai. Lung Sawai. Yeah. Lung Sawai. Lung Sawai. Lung Sawai in the corner there. Lung, yeah. Sam, Lung Sawai one. And Lung Sawai, this one is Lung Sawai two. Okay, so so the, yeah. the Lung Sawai one is at the corner of John yeah. Tian Beach? Yes. Yes. That's yes. that last restaurant? Yes. Okay, so assumably this is owned by the same people. Yeah. It's Lung Sawai two. Mm hmm Ah, okay. Yeah. What you ladies want to drink? Chang, ka. Chang, one quart, ka. You one more? One thing. Yeah, one thing. One thing, one thing. And Chang, one, ka. I didn't see the young man standing there. I thought he was a student, but he's working. Okay, cheers. I think maybe the family, family in cheers. the... Cheers. Cheers. Maybe the family. The son when finished yeah, the school, finished and school. today is the first first school open. Yeah. yeah. It was the, closed last the week? The school for three months. Yeah. They oh, called for, yeah. like a, how to call it in English? Like a break? Like summer school? break. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So today yeah. was the first yeah, day the first of school. Day. Oh, okay. You can, you can smell, smell of the sea. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, it's, it's yeah. what I was saying earlier to uh, to my friends talking talking to the camera. My friends out there, there's no bugs. It smells good. You got free air conditioning. Yeah, I love the because it's not so busy and yeah. wind open. It's nice. There's, there's one more little small restaurant over there. Oh. Oh, you go check everywhere already. We'll try that one next time. <laughs> and, and I know about this place, this is area for many years, you know, just driving around but on a motorbike. For me, I went to the Pupen, you know, the Pupen first. Yeah. Yeah. But it's different for the 10 year ago. Now and the Pupen be before, be, be, be before when yeah, I was like a 10 year ago, there was like a home, you know, like have some garden. Yes. But this time, like, whoosh. Yeah, it, with, uh, it's like twice as big as it was yes, before. Yes. We used to go there a lot, but I, I would always go early because, mm -hmm. you know, too many people. But now it's like twice as big. Oh, yeah. Always big. people oh, there. Too much. And folks, we're talking about, how, how do you say the part? Bupin? Bupin. That means crab go. Mm -hmm. Right? Crab go, yeah. bupin. It's right there on John Tian Beach. I call it the Big Blue Crab. So you guys have seen it on previous videos. Probably the most popular seafood place here in Pattaya. Yes. Oh, yes. Which Very means famous. crab go. Yes. And anyhow, when when people come from far, almost they say talk about that 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 Bupin a lot. Everybody yeah. wants to go to Bupin, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. What's up to you ladies? I like to try I, something. As long as we get some some type of shrimp dish, some type of fish. Up up to you. Do they have planin rab prik? Rad pik? No, no, planin pakao. Pakao rad pik? No, planin rab prik. Planin is not seafood. Not from the not from the beach, not from the ocean. That's from the lake, the pond, right? Yeah. 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 I like the so the sauce though. You know, the it's like saucy, a sweet, yeah, spicy yeah, sauce. Yeah, yeah. yeah this one. This one, same also. Yeah, that's that's it. Yeah. That's planting rubber prick, right? Mm. Oh. <laughs> no, 
<laughs> you know, you know why I, I say that all the time because you know the beer garden is one of my favorite restaurants, right? Oh yeah, and yeah, they have yeah. a plan in Rap Creek. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so yeah. one of the first times, like maybe the first day, I come to Pattaya, mm -hmm. we went there and we ordered that. So now I like to I like to order that every time, you know. Yeah. But easily, you know, I told you one, uh, one thing, uh, I don't know, you've been to the Hard Lap Oh, yeah. That is very good and very, very Yeah, nice. I went to with her family. What's it called? So close. They call Hard Lap. Hard Lap. In oh, the beautiful beast. Yeah. The soy 16. And the food is Before so the market? No. No, when you Do go come in inside. Yeah. So, so ah. 16. Yeah. yeah. It's not go in that way, market. Not to the market, yeah. to the soy. Oh, near the pier. Uh, I'm not sure. The old pier? Yeah, yeah I think. When you go, Terminal 21. Yeah. Right? Pass, go and there, you turn around. Yeah. Uh, the Dolphin Water. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Turn right. Right. After turn right, you see this side, Nakua 18. Keep going a little bit. And you can see. 16. 16. And you go inside, soy. And you see the way go to the beast. Nakua 16 had a good food and good price. Very fast, and fresh. very fast. Really? And yes, even. and then the price and close so to the good. Beast, the beast right the price is so good. It's a good know? price. Mo mm. Mostly Thai, Kuan Thai? Yeah. Yes. Thai. So Falang don't know? Yes. Some, but some now if I don't know because very fast. They know now? Yeah. yeah. But very good, very yeah, good. Yeah, very good. This so is. good. That's the first time yeah. I've been there also. Yeah. I said, oh, mm. look nice and beautiful. And they're so fast, the food very fast. Yeah, and have check the corn base like this. And it's very good. So I, you know, I the, the, the thing about me doing these travel shows, right? Mm hmm Is like, like right now, this place uh -huh. is a secret. Yes. But when I do this video. And to my friend. Yeah. Not too much, too much falang. Yeah, yeah. Gonna this know. Not too much falang. Don't know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sacrificing my secret yes. spots for you okay. guys. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I mean, look, so I look, we had to find out something like oh no falang at all. <laughs> you can yeah. be the first one. Right away. Certain, <laughs> certain places I don't I don't tell people about. You know, uh -huh. certain places I but keep now, a secret. Yeah, but, not, but this one not. Not too many. Uh -uh. This one already. So many people know it. But they know about beautiful, it. but beautiful. Yeah. Well, next, we'll, we'll peace, go there next time. The next, next time we go out to eat, that's that's where we go. But yeah, not but in the night. That time. Not in the night. Before the daytime. Daytime. Yeah, day. Yeah. yeah. And in the front, when you walk, you you walk in in. Why can't we go in the nighttime? The they close. Because <laughs> the beast there, the beast time they close in the night. At the nighttime? Yeah. yeah. They just open in the daytime, and a lot of people go there. We'll have to check that out. Folks, we're like, we're like seafood uh, adventurers here mm -hmm. seeking out the hidden spots mm -hmm. in Patty. Now look, there ain't that many mm -hmm. hidden spots anywhere <laughs> thanks to YouTube and people like me, right? I'm part of the problem. All these little secret spots, we make them not secret. <laughs> but no, nah, it's all good because you put open all the secrets. I'm opening all the secrets. <laughs> a lot of people come to Patty and they they think that 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 Patty is just beach road and walking street. Yeah. You know, they don't realize there's so much more. But actually, from, to the Patty, uh -huh, to Patty area. Uh huh. Same like me. We we I I live in the Patamnak, right? And then I not too much come to the Jump Tian side. Right. But for me, this is almost the first time for me to come to the Jom Tian side and very far. Yeah. And then I just say, oh, very good and very quiet too. I just talk every when I driving yeah. the motorbike and have so many. Yes, yeah, so many. Something Make new, new yeah. restaurant. Yeah. Or, yes, there's so many new places. Yeah. Actually, yeah. we have to yeah. show you, but you from Mufa. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Patty is so much better than it was in 2019. For me, uh -huh. when I left in 2019, and then I come first time in 2023. The first time for you, you come here. Actually, 2020. I was I was here in, in 2020, so I was gone mm -hmm. for three years. Mm -hmm. But I come back, and there's so many new restaurants. There's so many new bars. Yeah. It's like Patia is so much better than it was before. I think is the is the. Hatoya City is the place, it's like very easy to buy anything, you know, I think. Exactly. Yeah, easy. 
easy time, easy pace to find something like yeah. Anything you want. E yeah. Anything you want. Yep. So folks, we're gonna go ahead and put an order in, and I'm gonna leave it into the capable hands of our friend Amy here. Have nice music over oh, there. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. When I, when I first come to Thailand, you just say Kap Kun Kap, right? Uh, but then when I go to school, crew, crew say, Mako, you say Krap. Oh, you pay the end of the day. By the way, I'm passing Thai. Oh! Song P, Krap. Happy soda, I'm going to pin back and pin back. I'm going to pin back and 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 ไม่ครับผมพริกสดจะเป็นพริกสดเลยเออที่จะเป็นแบบเปรี้ยวๆใช่ไหมไม่ใช่พี่จะเอาเป็นไล่พริกที่แบบหวานๆอ่ะเหมือนเหมือนเขาเรียกว่าอะไรต้องสามรสอ๋อแบบนี้ลาดพริกเคยเห็นไหมที่เราทำซอสแบบอยู่บนปลานิลลาดพริกถ้าปลานิลลาดพริกที่กินปลาหงสามรสดีกว่าอร่อยมันจะมันจะลาดใช่ป่ะลาดเหมือนแกงใช่ครับผมเปรี้ยวหวานจอกเปรี้ยวหวานโอเคใช่แต่มันไม่เผ็ดอะดิแต่มันก็จะเหมือนครั้งที่แล้วที่เราก็กินเป็นปลากระพงราดพริกแบบนั้นนะกินแต่ได้ไหมเป็นหม้อไฟที่เราทำแล้วอยากเอาแบบพวกปลาแบบปลาในราดที่เดี๋ยวมันเค็มชูชีอย่างเงี้ยชูชีมันมันเป็นเออนั่นแหละเหมือนชูชีชูชีมันเป็นกะทิที่จะแร่เป็นชิ้นแล้วก็ชุบแป้งแล้วก็ไปทอดโอ้ที่เอาปลาผัดผัดพริกอะไรดีครับลาสามรสลาพริกนั่นแหละมันก็พริกมันก็เผ็ดก็เผ็ดใช่แต่ว่าแกเข้าใจไหมว่าครั้งนี้เราเราก็กินแบบแบบที่ว่าเป็นลาดพริกที่เป็นเป็นไข่มันเป็นน้ำอ่ะแกเข้าใจไหมที่เป็นเหมือนแบบน้ำเขาเรียกว่าน้ำน้ำใสอ่ะที่มันเปรี้ยวใช่ไหมเออแต่ว่าเราอยากได้ที่มันเป็นรสชาติที่มันเป็นแบบแตกไปอ่ะสามอย่างอ่ะแกเข้าใจไหมครั้งที่เราเขาลองเอาแบบไหนเอาแบบเป็นสามรสไหมเพราะมันไม่เผ็ดจัดเกินไปเขาจะได้กินได้เออไม่เอาปลาไม่เอาปลาไม่เอาปลาไม่เอาปลาไม่เอาปลาไม่เอาปลาไม่เอาปลาไม่เอาปลาไม่เอาปลาไม่เอาปลาไม่เอาปลาไม่เอาปลาไม่เอาปลาไม่เอาปลาไม่เอาปลาไม่เอาปลาไม่เอาปลาไม่เอาปลาไม่เอาปลาไม่เอาปลาไม่เอาปลาไม่เอาปลาไม่เอาปลาไม่เอาปลาไม่เอาปลาไม่เอาปลาแล้วก็ตัวโป๊ะแตกมันต้องเห็ดเหรอโป๊ะแตกมันโป๊ะแตกมันนี่มันเป็นมาฟอร์ดน้ำมึกผงมึกผักชาหมักปิ้งเผาหมักผักกระเทียมพริกไทยเออนั่นแหละเออใช่ไม่ต้องเผ็ดมากเพราะว่าเรามีเผ็ดแล้วอืมจะจะหนีพ้นละ We are in the town. Okay, ladies, so tell us what did you order? Uh, the pork chop. 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 I have to translate. Yeah, when it comes out, you tell what what it is in Thai, and okay. then you translate yes. to English. Yes, I will say Thai, and sure. Amy will say English. Sounds like a plan. I'm farang. I'm farang. Amy farang. I'm Thai. <laughs>อันนี้เป็นเกาะที่มีคนเล่นโปเกมอนเยอะมากแล้วเรามีสถานที่ให้เขาเล่นเกมกันอยู่ไหนคุณจะไม่ค่อยเจอกันเลย Action! Yeah, that's a better angle on the dangle right there. Are you wearing the panties? No, underwear. She got underwear, or no? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, folks! What can we do here? I'm trying to get myself in the in the action, but okay, come and sit over there. Hmm? You sit there for the camera. Hold on. 
I'll push the motorbike here. Now nobody hit the camera. All right, folks, and so now maybe I got a right angle on the dangle. And what I did, I just backed the motorbike out there. Or if anybody runs over my camera, they hit my motorbike first. Maybe that's not a great strategy. <laughs> but that's the strategy I'm going with. Oh, yeah. Okay, so, yeah. all right, so we got some food on the way. Mm-hmm. And I didn't even, I didn't even look at the menu. They got a big menu? Yes. The full, so a lot of things. Full we menu? Order, we ordered four. Okay. Yes. So they have a full menu of seafood. Okay. Thank you very much for the Nam Kang. Welcome, Kang. <laughs> Enough? That's good. Thank you very much, Donald. Enough? Yeah, that's good. Chodikra. 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 Hmm. Amy, can we all off? Fuck you, man. I'm drinking a beer scene. She's drinking a chan. What are you drinking? Water? She's she drinking chan. My vodka. <laughs> My vodka. Vodka water. Vodka water. Big glass. Yeah. Vodka. <laughs> have, folks, have good music, yeah? Yeah? Have good music. Good music have over music. here? Where's the music coming from? Is it, is it a bar over there? I don't know too, but it's Thai. Good Thai music. Yeah. So yeah, you ladies dressed up so beautiful tonight for the video. <laughs> I love these dresses. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, so beautiful. Mm. Yeah. Uh, folks, this gentleman's coming around selling uh, lottery tickets. Yeah. And they're checking out the numbers. They're looking for their numbers. And yeah. if he has the numbers they're interested yeah. in. Everywhere. And how much are the tickets? It's two by two. It's 220. It's by two. By one, it's 100. <laughs> so one is 100. Yeah. Two yeah. is 220. 220. <laughs> okay. So if you, if you only buy one, you basically get half of the money, right? It yeah. means somebody else could buy the other half, yeah. right? Yeah. So what's your strategy when you buy the lottery tickets? Do you buy two or you only buy one? What do you do? If we won, if we lucky, we, we buy two, no. you can get more money. But if, if you win. Uh -huh. <laughs> so you always buy two? Yeah, I want to no, get like we're looking 12, for the wallet. 12 million baht. <laughs> we're looking for the wallet baht. first. At what number? If we really have to, you know, sometimes they have like a one, 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 one set, right? One set. Uh, one said it's like a big, you know, one yeah. big win. But if like people don't have so much money, they can buy, take only one. They buy half. Yeah, yeah. buy half, something like that. Yeah, if, if, if I... But you know, not only six number. We can use three number or two number. Two number behind? Or the tickets. Or two yes. number in the front? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, you we can, can win buy, from uh, that too. 4,000 baht. Yeah. Okay. So, two number in the back, 2,000 mm -hmm. baht if you get win. Have you ladies ever won? Yes. How much? Have, how much is the 2, most? Two thousand. You won two thousand. <laughs> That's the most. I you buy. Ever I buy one hundred, but I get two thousand. And what about you? What's the most Who you? Number? Uh, yeah. All right, folks. Got some food coming in here. Uh, Amy has to say that what is Hong uh, uh, for, uh, for the Thai, Kung. What? Uh, not Pamuk. I can feel too. And in the interest of easiness, what I'm going to do is. Uh, <gasps> what I'm going to do is uh, just record this dish on the iPhone. Oh. So you're going to see a little de degradation in the quality. Oh, okay. okay, so what's this in Thai, ladies? Mukatiam. 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 Yes. And then in English. English is squid with the garlic. Okay, yeah. garlic squid. But it's carrot, yeah. This one not too spicy. Carrots. It's not too spicy. Food. Not too spicy, very um, soft. Uh, with the garlic. Yes. 
Yeah, it smells try. delicious. Yes. Look face now. Nah. Look the face now. Nah. Look. You know, uh, Amy and I went out to eat to the Elvis show, right? Mm -hmm. And Fatima, you know, every time I take some ladies out, she's going to go buy some shrimp, right? <laughs> but she yeah, went yeah, to the yeah. market in the Philippines, and uh -huh. she said the shrimp was so small and so old, yeah. she didn't even buy it. It's different, right? In Thailand, it's big, big shrimp. Mm -hmm. It's totally different, yeah. yeah. And uh, you went to the market, Nakua Market? I love Nakua Market. Yeah, Nakua yeah. Market. I'm thinking about going fish. there and getting yeah, like 10 kilo of shrimp and freezing it. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. But maybe it... Maybe next time you have to do something yeah, like you cooking. Yeah, is nice. You buy yeah. some stuff yeah. and then you cook Thai food to show them. Yeah. Now that, you know how to cook Thai food. I know how to cook Thai food. You know, and that's a food, you know. It's a food, you know how to cook Thai food. I know. Oh, yeah. I made, I made many videos over the years cooking oh, yeah? Thai food. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've even invented some of my own dishes. You're, you're cooking, you're cooking a lot. You have to cooking busy with, uh, uh, with us. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll show you all some of my skills. Mm. Mm. But what you, what you think? What is your, the first you think you, you cook and really like Oh, I, I, I can like make Thai. a kapow guy, kapow move. Oh. I make one I call tropical broccoli. Oh. Oh, oh. Sabye, sablai, la. sablai. Sablai. Okay. Sablai la But I'm thinking about getting some shrimp from the market and freezing it and then putting it in my suitcase. Mm -hmm. You know, if I put it in my suitcase, take like two hours to get to the airport, <laughs> two hours to check in, like a three hour flight. So it'd be like maybe 10 hours. Mm -hmm. You know, but I'm worried that the shrimp juice would leak out of the suitcase, you know. Yeah, I'm going to try to bring Fatima some shrimps. <laughs> but in go to time. the Philippines, how many hours? It's only three, like three. Three hours? Yeah. You cook and put in the fish. Put in the and freezer, yeah. Yeah, to like, where like yeah. this. Because I have the cousin. You can make hot when, again. Yeah, when she go back to Scotland, she always to do that. She cook a lot and put all in the fish. And she put again, but she have to, you know, like a pay extra because she have to put in the ice box. Mm -hmm. and oh, so she had to pay the, extra. Yeah. yeah. But see, I don't want to pay extra. Yes, that's why. <laughs> I don't want to pay the fifty baht extra. That's why I think you, I think for kidding. only three hours is nothing. Yeah. I think can stay. The flight's only yes. three, only three hours. Yeah. But you even put the, your your bag. I but think. it take two hours to get the bank card, then you know two three hours before the flight. That's and how, how eight, far? About eight hours. How far from the your house to the airport? Oh, it's Philippine? fifteen minutes. Close. Oh, yeah. good. I think maybe nine nine hours. Mm. So nine hours if I take the the goon out of the freezer by the time I get okay. to Can you keep Angeles City. I put you more. Oh, thank you, Don. Fight the baby. We're trying to work out a, yes. a plan here to bring how you to some get, shrimp yeah. from yes. Thailand. Yes. The only thing I'm concerned about, well, you, you said if you pay extra and tell them that it's shrimp, it's okay, right? Yeah. I've, I've never tried to transport any live so shrimp think, yeah. or frozen shrimp. I was just going to stick it in my suitcase and hope that it don't leak. <laughs> no, maybe shrimp. you don't put it in your suitcase. They have you that shrimp juice your bag. leaking on everybody's bags. Everybody's yeah, bags yeah. smell like shrimp. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I guess sure. I shouldn't do that. It smells. Because I, I feel so sorry for her because the shrimp over there, yeah. Or like this, you <laughs> I, I just say that I would love to take her some fresh shrimp from here. Uh -huh. It's just how am I going to get it there? Mm -hmm. Mix it in with garlic, oh, dry yeah. garlic. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. All right. Now what we got coming in here? Oh, uh, Fatima, she loves them shells. Yeah. Thank you, Don. Mm -hmm. Thank you, folks. All right, let's go back to the iPhone. I'm cheating here. I should have that FX3 over here showing you high quality images of this food. But like I said, I'm Anthony Bourdain, but I don't got the film crew that Anthony Bourdain has. So that's the difference. Oh, look at that sauce. And see, I'm a fiend for the sauces and I'm, I love spicy. I could drink that sauce right there straight. 
Okay, ladies, tell us the name of this in Thai and the name of it in English. Okay, so this is Hoi Nong Ba Lam Pu. Hoi Ma Lang. Oh, Hoi Ma Lang. Hoi Ma Lang Pu. Hoi Ma Lang Pu. And then in English. This is Hill. It's with the herbs. With the herbs. With yes. the herbs, herbs and shells. Yes. And mix with the lemongrass. Yeah, a little lemongrass. Wow. Folks, yeah. I'm going to tell you right now, the smell coming off of this. Now they got a fish coming in over there. Steam fish over a flame. My goodness, can I? Yeah, it's too late. I don't want to disturb my neighbors over there. But he got this huge fish over a flame. Did we order one of those too? No, no. We order another fish. Ah, okay. Because you try already stream the last time. If it's steam, it comes yeah. out. It comes out over a little flame. You know, it's still going. Mm -hmm. Beautiful on the presentation. I want you to taste something else. Because the last time I think you taste already stream like this. You mm -hmm. remember? Yeah. When we went. Uh, what was the name of that place? I can't remember. Uh, <laughs> I, can't Not clue. I, I can't remember. That one also nice, yeah. Very nice, nice. yeah. I enjoyed it. Yeah. <laughs> the wind too much. Yeah, it was very windy that night, yeah. yeah. But this one's still like good. Yeah, Calm so and yes. uh, Shishu here. Shishu. Here the breeze, like free air kind, but it's not trying to blow my tripod over. Mm -hmm. And folks, you know, here here's the thing about it too, like I don't trust any reviews. Okay? I just don't. I don't trust any reviews. I don't I don't care about those reviews. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, look at this coming in here. Oh my goodness. Now that is beautiful right there. That is, oh, that smells so good. Maybe I eat. I come and eat. Child pet my mom. Folks, I'm going to okay. tell you right now, this smells Ooh, so, so delicious. It, it, look at this. Look at the, on the presentation. It is beautiful. Yes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I wish that I could just send one of these to each and every yeah, one Fatima. of you. I'm thinking about Fatima. Oh, yeah. oh, Fatima can eat that whole fish by herself. Oh my lord. Oh. That's so I'll beautiful. Like now tell us in Thai, what's the name of this dish? Pakao. Pakong Samlut. Pakong Samlut. Pakong Samlut. Bakapong samrut. Chai samrut. And then in English? Fish is sweet and sour. Sweet and sour fish. Yeah. Five fish. It's five fish and mixed sweet and sour sauce. Mm. Yeah. Oh my gosh, folks. I'm telling you that. Yeah, this is sauce on the top. is sweet and sour. That looks so delicious. Yeah. Oh my goodness. And we got one more, one more dish coming. One yeah, like one more like soup. soup. Uh, awesome. Seafood. That is more expensive. Uh, no, no, it's, it's spicy. Yep, spicy. spicy. I like spicy. Yep. Well, what I was talking about the reviews, folks. I don't believe any reviews. Um, I looked at some of the reviews on this place only because I was looking at the map. I don't read them. I don't trust them. But I'm gonna tell you right now, I haven't bit into any of this food, but the smell, the presentation, the service is wonderful. So good. We got three or four people waiting on, on us here. So far, I'm digging this little spot. And this is gonna be one of my go to oh, spots. Come in. And look at this beautiful lady coming in here. <laughs> oh my goodness. Folks, all right, let me go to the iPhone, and again, it's not going to do it any justice, but I've only got one FX3, and I don't got a film crew, so we'll switch to iPhone footage just to show you. Fatima, look at the size of that baby, and they're fresh, too. They were probably swimming here, uh, right out in this ocean, this sea. Yesterday, look at that. That's absolutely beautiful. 
Ooh. And folks, so listen, big. the thing about it, what everybody don't understand, Fatima has been to Thailand two, three times. I don't remember how many times. She she loves Thailand. Why? Because of this right yeah. here. And don't worry, baby. You'll, you'll, you'll be eating this soon enough. Ooh. All I'm doing is scouting all the restaurants I'm going to take you to, baby. All right, ladies, thank you. That's beautiful. That looks beautiful, ladies. Okay, let's start. Let's eat. Let's dig in. Oh, can you give me that one, please, for the soup? <coughs> Folks, wow. These little spots like this. Okay, look. Patia is a big tourist town, right? It it thrives off of tourism, right? And you got some of the best restaurants in the world in the tourist zone. What's the zone? The zone is sort of like Second Road to Beach Road, the Loma Roundabout, the Dolphin Roundabout to the end of Walking Street. That's like the main zone, right? Oh my God, how many beautiful restaurants are there? But all you gotta do is get 10 minutes in either direction out of that zone and you're eating at local spots like this where I'm the only Falong here, right? Y'all see any Falongs? No. I'm the only Falong here, right? <laughs> yeah. Congratulations. Okay, see, I like to go to places where most of the time I'm the only Falong there. If I go there and it's full of Falongs, it's not for me. Gentlemen, gonna put the heat to it here. There you go, now we got some heat. Okay. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. That's Look at how that. we roll. Yeah. Don't even got to pay the gas bill. Folks, we got great music in the background. I got two beautiful oh, ladies so here. <laughs> Some of the best food. Oh. Mm. Thank you, Dawn. Thank you. Yeah, you, you oh, just load it up right that here. Only, yeah, no, Cause you, no, ladies, right. you know me. I like to drink my beer first mm -hmm. and then eat. So, so whatever you think that I need, just load up this plate right here. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, just load it up. And then when I finish yep. my beer, okay, then uh, then you ladies have prepared wonderfulness for me. Mm. How is it? It's good. Yum, yum. I think it's sauce nice. 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 Sauce just a beautiful evening with free air conditioning. These little babies over here playing. I can't wait till I bring my babies and yeah. Fatima here. I'm excited about you ladies meeting Fatima and yeah. the babies. Yeah. Yes, we would like love to see them. Yeah. Really? Yeah. You know, every, everybody's, you know, uh, in the entertainment game, you have people who love you people who in the middle, people who hate you, you know? Mm -mm. I took a lot of heat because me and Amy went to the Elvis show the other night. Mm -mm. I said, what, what's wrong? Two friends can't go see Elvis? What's wrong? Yeah. What's wrong with the world when that can't happen? It's right? delicious. It's delicious? It's so good. Mm. Delicious. Absolutely. I'm, that's outstanding. Good sauce. I mean, the presentation is wonderful. We had like four or five uh, waiters and waitresses were uh, taking care of us. The service is great. The beer is cold. <laughs> that little baby girl so sweet. <laughs> I 
Big sister hit her with the empty water bottle. That reminds me of Maria. <laughs> <laughs> We ain't blowing my tablecloth up here. This is so good. This one's so good. The soup is good? The soup's so good. Yeah. When I finish this beer, I'm finna, I'm finna dig in too. But I, oh, I got to drink first, ladies. Enjoy my beer seeing here. I'm done. Mmm. So you ladies have never, you never even knew about this place, right? You've no. never been here before, no, no, no. right? I said like, sometimes it's too far, you know? Like yeah. also, it, our world is like, a, I was alone for two uh, I mean, you, you know yeah. Bupin. Everybody yeah, knows Bupin, Bupin right? But you, but you never no. come over here to no, this little no, place. No, no. You never come over here. See? Falang, Falang. tour guide, huh? Yeah. Falang, show you. Falang, no, but Kau Oh, my Falang. I know many places from here to uh, Bangsare. Oh, Bangsare. Yeah, many good places there too. Yeah. Yeah. I, I hear that. The soup is good. Mm. Well, folks, I'm a beer drinker. And I like to drink my beer before I eat. <laughs> and, and again, these, these ladies, they'll tell me what's delicious and how to eat it, what sauce, and they load up my plate when I finish my beer. I'm ready to eat like a king. And I'm letting this video run. I'm going to tell you all why. A lot of my videos, I don't show us eating too much, right? Yeah. And people always say, why don't you show us eating? And I'm like, people really want to see that? You know, I figure like they didn't want to see five seconds. But then... You ever see those YouTube videos where somebody just sits there and eats for like yeah. one hour? No. You never see those? Yeah. Oh, they get millions of views. I caught my daughter watching this video one time where these people, or this girl was eating candy. She oh. was eating candy for like one hour. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, Maria, why are you watching that? Uh. I don't know. <laughs> So they want to know. Even sometimes I look like you know some Korea. They would they eat only noodles. Yes. But I watch them eat like wow. Looks you watch so it young. too? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So. Yeah, they just only eat noodles. You know, but big president. Yes. But they look so like shoes. Okay. And then sometimes like I have to wake up and then mm, record get the noodles. Well, see, I don't understand it because I don't watch <laughs> stuff like that, but. You just admitted to watching it. Yeah. My daughter watches this chick eat candy for an hour. And they're very popular videos. So I said, you know what? Y'all want to watch us eat? I'm going to let the video run. Mm. For all of, all y'all who want to watch watch people eat, you can watch us eat. You can watch me drink. Yeah. The smell coming off of this table is so delicious. Okay. Oh, my goodness. That hot is better. Oh, thank you, baby. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, heat it back up. What you think if I ordered like five of these fish and froze the fish mm. like this? I'd take that to Fatima. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Why not? Wow. This so, I think you love it too. But it's not too spicy. But I think yeah. the taste is. It's not too spicy? Me. Yeah, even your baby. Baby can eat too. Yeah, because they don't, they don't like spicy. You yeah. Know, Fil Filipinos aren't big into spice. Yeah. yeah they don't if spice. I put too much spice in, in mm -mm. something I cook, she's going to complain. They don't want to eat it, right? Uh. Sometimes I don't put any spice and they complain that it's spicy. Oh, it's spicy. No, <laughs> good try. I didn't put <laughs> any never, spice in it. They don't love to eat spicy. They have one little sauce. They'll put soy sauce. Yeah. Uh, lime juice and a couple of peppers, but they don't eat the peppers. I think they will love this one. Mm -hmm. I know they love they this one. Love the fish, uh, sweet and sour. Yeah. We know my mother. Shout out to your mom and uh, another happy Mother's Day. Anyhow, uh -huh. yeah, happy my mother, she'll eat happy something day. and the same thing. This is spicy. <laughs> like, mom, there's no spice in there. Well, it tastes like it's spicy. Like, no, there's no no spice no in there. No spicy too. No, no, no. 
You, you, you can give her a biscuit, right? This is spicy. <laughs> Ma, there's no spice in there. Oh, okay. I was just But checking. Thailand, you know, sometimes candy also spicy, you know. Have spicy candy, you know, Thailand. I love spicy. Mm. I've heard you live in Thailand a long time. You know how to spicy. One time I was in my wife's uh, hometown, and I kept... We, we, I ordered some food. I said, look, I want it spicy. She's like, oh, okay. I said, no, I don't want the full-on spicy. I want the Kuntai spicy. Mm. And she looked at my wife, and my wife like, yeah, ching ching. <laughs> she made it so spicy. Oh, thai, thai. Oh. She made it so spicy. I was crying all night, mm -hmm. but it was so delicious. So delicious. Mm -hmm. Because most of the time, if you order spicy, they do they do little bit mm -hmm. because they think the falang cannot eat the cannot, spicy. Yeah, some of the falang pet my mom. Yeah. Thai pet my mom. Okay. Folks like jalapenos, I eat those like candy. Jalapenos are candy. You know, y'all saw me y'all saw saw me make a creamy diablo. Mm. Uh, I have this dish I call creamy diablo. It's basically like sauteed peppers and cream cheese. It's absolutely delicious. Wow. Oh, it's delicious. Actually, I not too much the eat the foreigner foods. I don't like any new pet. I like so much. But sometimes I feel like I love cheese. You like cheese? I love cheese. Maybe you would like the creamy Diablo. You like I spicy? You like cheese? Mm -mm. Yeah. Oh, baby, next time you have to try. I gotta make the creamy you Diablo. You have to order. I don't know how to order. <laughs> <laughs> no, baby, nobody can make the creamy Diablo but me. It's a secret. Lily? Yeah. Bro. I invented it. Oh. I invented the creamy Diablo. That in your country? Food from... from. No, I made Lily. it up. I invented it. I invented the creamy Diablo. It's so spicy, most people can't eat it. Mm-hmm. It's nothing but like red chili peppers, green chili peppers. Uh. You just saute it in a little bit of sauce and then put it in some cream cheese. Wow. So what's your favorite? You have a favorite? Yeah. What's your favorite? Actually, I love this one. The fish? Yeah. I love the fish. It's so fresh and oh, I taste it's not oh, too, but actually this also, I love the soup too. The this soup? One. So good. Wow, I would love to give the Fatima to try all this. I think she will oh, so she'll happy. Love it. And she, yeah. she will love you more. One thousand. She, she loves me, but <laughs> but you know, like what, what a lot of people. I'm sure she will love you more. What a lot of people don't know or understand is uh -huh. that Fatima has been to Thailand. Uh -huh. I think three times. Yeah, yeah, she, you told me. She that. knows how delicious mm -hmm. this food is, right? And so I'm just looking forward to the yeah. next time. I can bring it here. Just put it on my plate, baby. Let me finish my beers. Uh -uh. I'm looking forward to the next time that she gets to come here. Because I, I know she misses this. I, I haven't even tried the food yet, folks. I'm giving this place two thumbs up and five stars. It's mm -hmm. it's on time. Mm. I'm treated like a king here. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But sometimes, you know, the girl, when you say thank you, and then it's so cute, you know. I feel like, yeah. When the girl say thank you, no. The phone easy to say thank you, right? Thank you. Yeah, more easy. But when you go to school, the teacher say, no, Marco, you say thank you. Thank you, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Because Cup Thailand Cup. have raw, have raw rua, raw Thai people cannot mm. say rrr. Thai people cannot say raw rua. rua. Yes. Raw yeah. Yeah. That's raw. true. That's true. Raw rua. You say by lolin and pasta Thai, but it's really by raw rua. Rian. Yes. You see, I don't know this till I go to school. Mm -mm. I think laleo laleo, but it's. Real. 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 Mm -mm. If, if for the right, it's real. The Happy. proper pronunciation. Yeah. I didn't know this till I went to school and my teacher, Crew Big, shout out to you, Crew Big. Uh, How long you you learn in school time? Song B, 
โอเคอย่างนั้นเราไม่ต้องพูดภาษาบาลอยังภาษาไทยจากวันจันทร์ถึงวันพาราครับครับยังค่ะยังไม่รับค่ะมีไอซ์เอ็กซ์ใหม่โอเคบาลอยังภาษาไทยจากบาซองมุงถึงบาซีมุงทุกวันใช่ไอคิดว่าถ้าอยู่พูดภาษาไทยเรื่อยเรื่อยยุคก็จะเก่งเรื่อยถ้าอยู่ไม่พูดภาษาไทยเลยอาจจะลืมบ้างลองลองเบิร์ดขอบคุณค่ะจอดบิร์ดไลท์สติ๊กไลท์เป็นโซคิงลองลองเบิร์ดดูแค่นถ้าไอพูดแบบนี้อยู่เข้าใจไหมสมนี่เนาะถ้าไอพูดกันด้วยกันอย่างเงี้ยอยู่เข้าใจไหมสิคุณพูดเร่าเร่าพูดชาติชาครับโอเคค่ะขอบคุณครับโอเคไอเราละไอรู้ละต้องพูดช้าๆต้องพูดช้าๆกับอยู่โอเค No when when I when I stop going to school I'm very good but Sampi อยู่ที่ประเทศฟิลิปปินส์ครับมาพูดภาษาไทยเรียกคุยยูแคนไม่จำจำไม่ได้ I forget แล้วยูพูดภาษาฟิลิปปินส์ได้ไหมไม่ครับไม่โอเคไม่เอาครับไม่เอาครับโอเคฟินิชไม่ถามแล้วไอไม่ถามด้วยว่าทำไมไม่เอาครับแต่ก็อยากรู้ว่าทำไมอ่ะ No I understand some Tagalog because I speak a little bit of Spanish Spanish have the same words so if I demand say blah 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 zapatos I know she's talking about shoes Mm. Or she said blah 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 blah. Trabajo. It's the same word in Spanish. Now I know she doesn't want to do some work, right? So, mm. so I know what they're talking about, mm -hmm. but I don't speak Tagalog. I speak a little bit of Spanish, a little bit of Thai, a little bit of English, a little bit of Francais. Parlez-vous mm. Francais? Je m'appelle Mer. J'habite aux États-Unis. อันนี้รู้เรื่องเลย So do, do you ladies know any Russian since you you work over on Pratunak you know any yeah, Russian yeah, yeah. you starting to learn from learn some Russian I listen to but not too much sometimes already for cause because some Russia they not they not really want to speak English you know they just speak sometimes Russian yeah and then full really, really fast Same like you, yeah. cha cha. Yeah, if cha cha, nice. we can understand. So they, we can like so they a speak quickly. Learn. Yeah. It's hard to learn when it, when everybody speaks But quickly. Sometimes I don't look at the, what is it, but I look at the action. Yeah. Can make me understand what they want. You know? Right. I mean, yeah. Sometimes they look like I did. Folks, if you're if you're trying to learn a second language, okay, you can't. Talk to somebody on the phone. You have no idea what they say. If they're in front of you and you're looking at their lips moving and their body language and their gestures, then you can learn. Mm -hmm. But like trying to speak a foreign language on the telephone to somebody, now a video call is different. But like uh, trying to speak on a a voice call, you just totally lost because you have to have everything else that goes with it. At least I do. Wow, got some good music kicking up, ladies. Wow, this is like an acoustic slow version to that song. It's, I can't remember the name of it. It's on Miami Vice on the soundtrack. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. And folks, shout out to all the staff here. They've been treating us like kings and queens. I mean, just outstanding service. I think we got five waiters and waitresses. Or there's some more up there in reserve. Plenty of wait staff here. I'm about to finish my beer and I'm about to dig in. It's just my the way I roll, folks. I just I like to let everybody eat first. I drink my beer. Everybody gets done eating. That's when I tear it up.
No. You don't, you don't have to choose a favorite, right? Mm -hmm. But if we compare this place and to the place in Naklua, mm -hmm. oh, hard to. About the same thing. It's hard. By the same thing. I think. I think the face I love because it's the face, and then sometimes cannot easy. But for me, I feel like this one. So this one's more fresh. Yes. So this is the winner. Yeah. Let's talk more. The taste is more. Wow. Loud. Good chef. Yeah. Oh my goodness. So yeah. this beats the place in Naklu. How king kung ba? I how king me? You do ah? I give you this one. One meat crab. Crab. Okay. Uh, just a hasip hasip crab. Hasip hasip. Fifty fifty. So, well, that's interesting. Uh huh. Because I think. I, I almost think, looking on Google, that more people know about the place in Naklua mm, yeah. than they know about this yeah. place. Yeah. I think, from here. Mm. Mm. All right, got a fisherman coming in, rolling strong, got a little Yamaha outboard, rolling solo. Hey, what are you about? Huh? Well, folks, here's the thing. I don't do negative reviews. There's so much negativity in, negativity in the world. If I go to a restaurant or a bar or a hotel and, and it's not good, I just scrap the footage. There's too much negativity. That's just the way I roll. So you can think that I, I, I say everything is delicious, everybody's beautiful. I'm an optimist. But if I go somewhere and it's just not worth me recommending it to you, it don't make, I, don't, I just scrap the footage. And I'm like, that place sucked, right? <laughs> you, don't, you, don't, you don't see it, right? I'm not Gordon motherfucking Ramsay. So everything that you see here, it made the cut. And this place is a hidden gem. It's, it's a hidden gem. The couple reviews I looked at, I have no idea what they're talking about. They're full of sh Come here, we're on Najam Tien at the end of Soy 6. Not Patty of Soy 6, where, where all the ladies are. Not Jam Tien Soy 6. We're at Na Jam Tien Soy 6, just south. Of the end of Jam Tien Beach. Oh, I can promise you this. Any of y'all come visit me here in Patia now, this will be one of the stops on my off the beaten path tour. Guarantee. Oh, it's not off the beaten path. That's right next to Jump Tien Beach. Okay there, Einstein. <laughs> but, I mean, how many Falong you see here other than me? So no, not everybody knows about this spot. They will, but they did. There's so many beautiful places to eat out here in Patio. I could take you to these popular places and show you just wonderful, beautiful spreads of food. But like I said, I'm, it, selfishly, it's harder for me to film. I can't put my tripod over there like I'm doing right now and not worry about somebody knocking it over. And uh, places like this, I don't worry about little, little things like that and I can enjoy my meal even more. So I think like going forward, like more, more I'm gonna focus on is little places like this, because every if you go to like Ninja Barbecue, there's a million videos, right? Great place, love it. There's a million videos. How many videos are here at this place right here? Maybe a handful. That's all I'm gonna do is oh, off the beaten path <laughs> places here in Thailand. And occasionally go sit at Hooters once they get a band. I'm not going over there until y'all get a get band back in there. Once Hooters gets a band, I'll go over and sit over there. Until then, I'm a hot tuna player. 
Babe, we gotta go to Hot Tuna again. Remember we went to Hot Tuna? Oh. Listen to the band? Let's go. <laughs> you wanna go? Well, last time we got a little crazy, though. It's Thai whiskey, one bottle. What? Thai whiskey, one bottle, and you don't want to mix any Coke, Coke any soda. You just want to drink a only like shot. I drank a whole bottle of Thai whiskey and in the shot. You don't want to put in the glass, you drink in the bottle. I shop cat. Huh. Yeah. See, Fatima, she like to eat that head. We all eat too. All right, folks, here we go. My first you want taste. Some hot? Mmm. Mm. Slowly eat. Now it's the sauce. Wow. That is delicious. Mm. Yeah. Put the sauce on the top. Mm. You can feel that mass. See? That is absolutely delicious. Yeah. Delicious. Mm. Mm. In Thailand. That fish is so fresh. Yeah. Oh my goodness. That sauce. Mm. That is outstanding, folks. I'm telling you right now. Absolutely delicious. I mean that that is so good. I, I don't even know how to describe it. It's that good. Mm. One more. You want this chili sauce more? We had apple. Yeah, I told her to bring one more sauce. Yeah. Okay. Folks, I take that sauce. I, I drink that like a milkshake. Give me some more hot sauce. I'm team Hoya. Oh my goodness. Good? It's delicious, darling. Try the shrimp. Mm. That's fresh. Mm. Wow. Wow. What do you think? I, you think Fatima loves it? Right? She loves it. Yeah. I think your baby too can eat this. Her babies love so, this too. It tastes so good. It went, I, I, not so much like something sweet. Oh, oh yeah. Mm. That is delicious. Mm. My goodness. What the hell do you mean? I'm going to eat it. I'm going to eat it. You like that, you that fish some? head, nice and crispy, huh? Yep. Ah, I love it. Food is delicious. It's very delicious. It's very delicious. It's very delicious. It's very delicious. But everything is fresh. It's a long time. 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 อาจจะติดใจค่ะให้เลยแล้วก็การบริการของที่นี่ก็ถือว่าเนาะก็ดีค่ะแล้วก็อาหารไม่ได้รอนานมากแล้วก็บรรยากาศบรรยากาศคือ
ประมาณ500เมตรราคาย่อมเยาวด้วยอยู่ริมคลองตรงราคาไม่หนักก็อาหารสดกันเองอาหารสดราคาไม่แพงการดูแลการบริการถือว่าใช้ได้เชียวเยี่ยมสบายสบายค่ะจ้ามากันได้นะคะอร่อยก็อิ่มแล้ว All right folks what's the verdict on the price 1,570 baht 1,570 baht right off the top of my head that's uh, less than 50 bucks figure thousands 30 45 let's say 50 bucks And look we ordered four entrees three rice I drink two or three Singhais, a Chang, anyhow. That's a fair price, and it was absolutely worth it because that was absolutely delicious. Yes. Now, look, folks, when I do this, when we run this travel show, we're, we're trying to order several dishes to get a, you know, get a more sampling of what's going on. But if it's just you and your Thai lady, or you and your Well, just you and your lady that comes here, you can get away with one entree and a couple of rice, and that's a meal, and it's going to be delicious. We ordered four because I needed to show you all on the video. So, two thumbs up from me. I give it a five star rating, 10 out of 10. So, folks, I want to say thanks for joining us. I don't know if I'll add to this video, I don't know if we're going somewhere else. Thank y'all for joining me. Thank y'all for watching my videos, listening to my boys, because truly, you li you allow me to live this lifestyle, and I I'm very appreciative. But even if I lived in uh, somewhere in the backwoods of Alabama, I'd still be doing the same thing that I'm doing right now, and that's enjoying life and living life. In the words of Red, get busy living or get busy dying. I choose to stay busy living. Shout out to Filipino wife number two. Maybe I'm gonna try to bring you back. It's gonna be frozen now, because I gotta put it in the suitcase. Uh, I'm gonna try to bring you something back, and you know as soon as you get here on the next ride, the next trip, I'll bring you right here, baby. You can eat all you want. That's right, you get to meet Amy and Anne. Yeah, I will bring big children. Maybe one day She's you have bring to some do lady shrimp. hangouts, not men, only yeah. lady hangouts. Yeah, the lady said they want, they want to take yeah. you out. Yeah. And I'll stay at the house and watch the kids. Yes. Watch the kids. Or better yet, I'll watch, I'll watch my son, but I'll take him to Soy Six. Oh yeah, good idea. And that that way lady, they can help me. The, yeah. yeah, the lady yeah. can help take care of my son. Lady, yeah. lady in the bar, it's so sweet. Yeah, of course. Yeah, the thing can take care of you. Fatima and Maria can go with you ladies yes. and eat. And me and Forrest G, we'll go to Soy Six and mm -hmm. drink some beer. And I'm going to win Parent of the Year Award. Oh, <laughs> All right, folks, I'm out of here. Special of Soy Six. I don't know what's special about soy sticks. Yeah, I'm not really bars. sure. And many sexy I've heard that there's a bunch of bars. Uh, you can sexy lady. You like many bars, left or life. It's uh, you can see a uh, big ass, big everything. I like big ass. <laughs> Same like me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks, we're out of here. Peace out. Love each and every one of you. <laughs>